Hello and Hi. welcome to the Que Dicho podcast. Welcome back, you guys. Yes, this is our 11th episode. Woohoo! Que Dicho is the podcast where we dive deep into the dichos we grew up hearing from our parents and grandparents. In today's dicho, we're going to be talking about Camarón que se duerme, se lo lleva la corriente. If you're like me, that's probably one of the first dichos that you heard. Or the most common, actually. It's pretty common. I, I, that's not a new one for me. I've heard about Definitely it. Definitely not. And yeah. it's funny. <laughs> you know, actually, what I think about when I think of this dicho, I've always just pictured like, El Camarón de la Sopa Marucha. I don't know why. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that poor guy. Yeah. The tiny little ones. You, you, you're you talking about like the image, right? The the little icon that they have in the packaging. Or are you no, talking about the I'm actual about the inside? Actual oh, one. okay. That's what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. Okay. It just looks like a little. Yeah. Dried up one. Or yeah. That's oh what I'm like. God. Is it real? Is it? Is I it, don't know. It might be like a it's like dehydrated, dehi- yeah, tiny one. It's definitely dehydrated. But why is it tiny? Shrimp are tiny, según. Is it a baby shrimp? Y de por si no me gustan los camarones. Yeah, by the way, that sopa marucha de camarón was an OG growing up. It's the only flavor that I really had. It was a staple for me. In the week, I had to have at least one Damn, sopa marucha. Damn, tanto sí. <laughs> uh, girl. Uh, Especialmente I mean, cuando visitaba México uh, y uh, yeah, estábamos that. allá de vacaciones. I would try like every other day and be like, Grandma, me das... Ma, no le hablaba inglés, obviamente, pero... <laughs> hey, grandma. Oh, abuelita, ¿me das dos pesos o cinco pesos para comprar una sopa malucha? And... No, not with me. I would starve. <laughs> There was no tienda. I would just eat, like, los frijoles y el huevo. Because I didn't really like meat. I still don't really like meat, so... So you're a vegetarian, Alondra? No, not really. Not willingly. Oh. I just don't like the sensation of meat or like the fat parts or the tendons Ugh, no thank you like the texture when you feel it in your mouth yeah i i try to be as nonchalant as possible like if i'm eating with people i'm not gonna make a scene but i need it like out of my mouth immediately so i'm just like like wipe it away in my you've seen me do it plenty of times i've seen alondra <laughs> like i, I like always parties. see it if it's too gooey you're like mm. I've seen it so many times that I don't even count. So, camarón que se duerme se lo lleva la corriente. In English, the literal translation would be shrimp that falls asleep gets taken by the current. Mm? That's a good one. That's almost sad. <laughs> Pobrecito. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what is the message of this dicho? What would you say in your own words? What do you think this is trying to say? In my perspective, or the, the way that I'm seeing it, The current represents the passing of time or the pa- the passing of life happening, mm, right? Okay. The things around you are like a current. Things are going to be happening around you. It's an ocean of motion. I forgot who said that, but... Isn't that just... N- no, no. It's it's a way to describe life. It's a Jim Rohn. Okay, I would hope so. Jim That's, Rohn I'm said just it gonna leave like it that. that. Yeah, because you're, some, you're, you're thinking about something you, else. I've heard of that one. <laughs> That's okay. what I'm like... No, so why are you bringing that up? <laughs> life out there is like it's an ocean of motion because things are given and things are taking and things are happening things are in the happening. world. That's happening. And when you are not paying attention, the currents of life can take you away. Into what? If you're not aware, life can take you in places where you do not wish to be. Right, like you get washed away, and then when you get washed away, you don't really pick where you land. You just kind of like, like it's the same. It's the idea of saying, "I'll just go with the flow" type of thing. Right. So, kind of like living just day by day without really looking outwards to who, where you're heading. Mm-hmm. The straightforward one would be those who are not paying attention will miss opportunities this is the simplest way to say i, I gave the hard okay, that's, version of seeing things uh-huh mm-hmm. but like the simplified would be those who are not paying attention will miss opportunities which will give you get you in a position where like you really didn't want because so like you settle sometimes you know yeah settling for what it gets handed to you because you're just going with the corriente you're just going with the flow of the mm-hmm. water yeah you're not really taking any actions you're not, not really mm-hmm. taking any major decisions going against going against the current that's uh-huh. a good one yeah have you ever tried to go against the current alejandro 
like yeah. literally like <laughs> in the water oh in the water yeah uh it's hard in the ocean whenever the wave comes in and like it oh it pulls man you, yeah trying the to waves go against crashing it on you the tira, ocean is crazy uh-huh that's a good that's a good um metaphor for life definitely the fact that you're comparing el corriente the ocean or the water the current of the water with life oh okay like it's a strong current they, life, there are some life ones. is a strong current mm-hmm. and if you fall asleep you're just gonna go with the flow and it's gonna take you places that you probably aren't planning on going mm-hmm. you gotta know how to navigate the waters because the currents are created by energy the current of life is created by people's desire to create something a desire to have a fulfilled life mm-hmm Right. So those are individuals out there in life making moves, making things happen for them in their lives. Making things happen for them to their benefit. To their benefit mm-hmm. or to the benefit of others. Others. Or the people or that they group, care about. Or something the, that they care about. Or their community. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Like minded individuals. Right. And so right. those like minded individuals will have like a direction of where they want either their area or their home or their business venture to go to. Right. And the goal that they're aiming at, that's where they need to focus. Yeah. And when you do that, you create a current of energy and vision that takes you and the people that you are taking with towards that direction. Mm -hmm. If you really the same and equal opposite occurs as well. Well, the opposite would be like, how much current are you creating? That you influence the other people sitting next to you. How much current are you creating? And if it's any at all, because then that's um, that's where see, the hold on. Keep that thought. Hold on. I just want to say before I forget mine. So what I was thinking when you said how much current are you creating, meaning how much influence are you creating towards the people around it because you could be creating a current but where is it taking you where is it taking your friends where is it taking your family mm-hmm. o sea puedes estar yeah, making a current but where are you headed in a, a situation that is not really desirable for people you can't raise a family in that way you can't live sustainably that way so those are the currents that take you away those that's a current that you created how much current are you creating to take your life to a certain direction because if you're not then you're not creating a current you're going all. with it mm-hmm. when you're not creating a current you are being pulled by strong currents that other individuals and things like ideas products stuff, society material things can pull you People can pull you, places can pull you, a job, money, and all these things are creating like a type of currents against you. Some can be very little currents, but some, like for example, what they say, like if you try this one item, this thing, this illegal item, then it can create the strong current as in like you desire it and then you get pulled by it. Yeah. If you don't have your feet planted on the floor, and you know that you at least want to go towards this general area, you're going to get swept out of out of your feet, and it's going to take you on a ride. Instead of going towards that area, you're going to end up in some position that you're going to wake up one day, and you're going to be like, how did I get here? Oh, man, those are the worst. You don't want that. You're going to be like the movie Click. Oh, gosh. Are we going to cry right now? <sighs> <laughs> it just triggered Alejandro. He can't watch that movie. <laughs> I really can't. But, oh man yeah, but yeah like that, that. Movie, like he mm-hmm. like what's the message here he just wanted the success he just wanted the money he just wanted the job he just wanted the position and he realized that he he had he got everything but how did he attain all that did he go with the flow no. what kind of flow he just went literally autopilot like not being present so kind of like going with the flow until he woke up one mm-hmm. day and yeah. realized because going with the flow is not paying attention you're flowing you're not making decisions just as it as it goes right other people are kind of like making decisions they're for the you. Make, yeah they're the ones making the decisions and you're like okay yeah i'm fine with that you're just the okay yeah we'll do that you wake up one day and you realize that you you hate your job or you hate your wife <laughs> or you just 
yeah. are so unhappy how did you get so deep into this yeah the, those could be the moments where like out of like the, the corriente that you llevó y te arrastró and you were underwater and then, then you get those moments where like you poke your head out and you take a breath <gasps> and then you realize where the where am i damn have you had those moments where you have things are happening around you in your life and then for whatever reason you have a moment to like just take a breath and take like a moment and then you realize where you are and you're like okay i have and in those moments that's when i'm grateful like i'm when i'm having those moments it's when i'm praying mm -hmm. and i'm just grateful like i'm just like amazed that in the position that i'm in yeah so for me i wouldn't say that i i come out of the water and i'm lost or i'm like how did i get here for me it's like a different type of how did i get here it's a happy how did i get here yeah there, those are just those moments where like you peeked out of the water or you have a moment to like recognize where you are could also be called you get present to the moment mm -hmm. and you have some moment of clarity and you're able to see and judge where the decisions that you lacked in the past got you to and well you're here now so what are you gonna do about it are you gonna continue letting the currents take you away or are you gonna plant your foot it plant your feet <laughs> on the ground and choose where you want to start heading right are you choosing where you're heading i'm choosing where i'm heading have you ever been going with the flow i have so when was it when you realized that you're going with the flow like what did you do in that situation if you say that you're going where you want to go right now and there was a time where you weren't i mean just the the realization of asking the simple question of like where am i heading in life you had like an existential crisis no existential just where am i heading what is my future because existential crisis is whenever it's like why am i even alive right. no this was like i know i'm alive and i know i'm choosing but like where am i heading for the first time you questioned it right uh-huh that moment of asking that question to myself was very helpful in, in the way of like If I was un camarón dormido, de repente, pues me desperté. Y entonces, I looked around. I said, I need to make different decisions. Eliminate things that I do and start heading that way. Because that's that's offering something better than if I continue just going with the flow. Kind of how I picture this dicho is the, have you ever been on a lazy river? Answer is yes. <laughs> right. So picture yourself on a lazy river mm -hmm. and you just relax and you just let it take you yeah it takes you know the whole lap whatever and it's that easy it's like you're you're just going with the flow so that's how you were in that time of your life you were just you know chilling relaxing no no <laughs> i don't think because i guess those can happen what it felt more like it was una not a lazy river but those ones where like they let a big wave wash you away oh snap yeah what really yeah and and those are most disorientating because like life just hits you like crazy you get underwater you get disoriented you don't know if you're swimming down or up kind of like if a ola gets mm -hmm. you y te you're like crashing in the water uh-huh so that was you in that situation or that was you in the realization that was me when i picked out i was coming out of like a situation of like oh shit So being ahí en la ola, like being tossed around, uh -huh. was that? Ese camarón que se durmió, no se movió. It was just a big ola after ola after ola and not really controlling. And I'm like, why Damn. am I letting life just smack me like that? And, and, and none of them are my decisions. I'm just going with other people's decisions. It's just me dumb of saying, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, let's Eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> right and that's how a lot of people get into a lot of difficult situations that they can't really easily get out of anymore and from my experience it's like hey you got we're gonna hang out over here but we're gonna go whatever you can get with 10 bucks i was like i don't okay whatever i mean we're all hanging so out you're right? like oh this is what we're doing today okay yeah and fast forward to like 20 minutes later We're in the sketchy ass freaking neighborhood. I don't even know where we are. And you we're were just waiting. in the back seat. I was, uh huh, exactly. And that's like, okay, you could be <laughs> cool about it. Or I was not cool about it because I was like, damn. You were kind of questioning it. 
yeah I, I was starting to get those little peaks out of the out of the water out of the water <gasps> i was like oh my god i was like okay i'm hanging out with this people you were in that situation yeah and, and you did not feel comfortable definitely did not feel comfortable i was the youngest there so then i was like okay um you gotta rethink your your friendships mm-hmm. maybe correct because like if you're not feeling comfortable what are you doing there exactly at what cost yeah and i was i was feeling like that camarón que se lo llevó la corriente in that moment. momento you have to have a few of those or know of a few situations or know this dicho to even understand that you need to create your own path in life mm-hmm. and you need to make decisions based on where you want to head that way see now you're gonna end up like the camarón de la sopa marucha uh-huh. <laughs> you don't want to be that guy getting in by little alejandro in mexico <laughs> and no faltaba la tía que te decía eso es malo para ti <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> si comes mucha sopa marucha te va a hacer daño she's right it's she's right. not good I for just, you <laughs> uh, it's not good for you uh especially the cup ones why because it's in like styrofoam. styrofoam and then you're putting boiling water into that and then you're getting all straight those up plastic straight up uh-huh Dang, Yo hasta le raspaba las, las orillas oh, para yeah. El sabor. yeah <laughs> my god you're over here eating plastic <gasps> oh Dang. we're just gonna talk about fitness again okay so people who are active obviously the older you get the harder it is to stay active Mm-hmm. have you seen i mean i'm sure you've seen like that tiktok person who's old and they can still do like the squats or whatever mm-hmm. and that's good for them that's rare right seeing yeah. like a 70 60 year old guy who can lift and run and be very he's very fit very active but his level of fitness is only comparable to a 40 year old who is not fit when you're in your prime your early 20s you're at you're at the highest and if you're not fit, you're still up here. Mm-hmm. Like when you're out of shape, you're yeah. up here. Yeah. If you're out of shape at 40, you're over here. If you're in shape at 40, you're like, you're Obviously, still pretty in between, You're like a, uh-huh. in between the 20 year old and so a 30 year old who is You're like unhealthy. a 30 year old who's unhealthy. Right. If you're out of shape when you're 80, you're like why are you down here bro yeah you're about to die <laughs> no but if you're in shape like very uh-huh. fit active in shape when you're 80 you're like a 60 year old who's out of shape okay yeah i get it i get it you can't be like in your 80s and be super fit and feel like a 20 year old that's not really how it works you're still gonna be aged so what i'm saying is si te dejas llevar por la corriente like majority of people stop working out when they're in their 30s where are you gonna be when you're in your 60s if you don't take your mobility seriously, if you don't take your aging body mm-hmm. seriously, like you don't, if you don't take control of that, because I know that the older you get, the the stiffer the neck, you <laughs> literally get tighter. You can't really move that well. What are you going to do about that? <laughs> Is that why like viejitos are like, that's why old people them, just like, and they're <gasps> like eh. yeah, yeah. And it, it's, it's part of life. It's natural, but you can slow it down. You don't have to be a stiff-necked old person if you are taking care of your body. Mm-hmm. The way that you explained it, I was there's Very so many confusion. many questions that I did have. But what happens if you're always the fit person? Well, you're gonna your body doesn't age as badly, so you're able to handle una caída. At, yeah, yeah, sixty. You won't really hurt yourself as bad yeah. if you fall, you trip, you fall. Because the way that I was seeing it from your perspective when you were explaining it is like, I don't think the 60 year old healthy version of you would care if to be compared to a no, it's unfit not about 25 year no, no, old because no. then he'll be like, yeah, but it's not about comparing. It's just right. like scientifically, like we're not here to be like sit down a 60 year old versus a 20 year old Mm -hmm. that's not the conversation it's just comparably the abilities of a fit 60 year old man is comparable to a unfit 40 year old man or 30 year old man you could see it vice versa meaning the unfit 45 year old is like a fit 65 year old yeah meaning it's like if the unfit person is a 60 year old person right but the unfit person who's choosing to stay unfit is going to decline even more by the time he's 60. 
that's the issue okay <laughs> so if you go with the flow if you're not taking care of your in this sense in this case mm-hmm. taking care of your physical you know your body mm-hmm. you're still gonna go with the flow meaning you're still gonna decline no matter what okay unless you do something about it which is why right now we're in our late 20s we're trying to be active and it's a little harder to at least for me i i I can feel it in my body it's not as easy to do those workouts anymore like when i was in my late teens right part of aging but also it's gonna be harder the older you get yeah definitely definitely you don't want to get swept by that current you need you want to stay on top of that one you can help yourself when you're older by continuing to be active when you're young when you're capable of it yeah but either way no matter which which state you are you always want to become the better version of yourself that you can and that's by doing hard things and hard things are working out and being disciplined on it hard things are not eating crap or chucherias or sopa maruchas otra vez right (laughs) con la sopa marucha yeah and so it's doing the hard things will create well, a better version of yourself okay what's the opposite of this dicho camarón que se duerme se lo, re, se lo lleva la corriente what is the opposite camarón que está despierto goes against the current no yes moves from the current and doesn't get swept by the current that's coming up goes against the current it's an easy way to say that goes upstream if he wants to maybe the opposite, the equal opposite would be a camarón who's awake. O sea, está al tiro. Mm-hmm. That's another dicho. <laughs> está al tiro. So he's ready to make those moves in, in his life and be proactive. Mm-hmm. So that he doesn't go with the flow and end up somewhere he doesn't want to be. Camarón que está despierto, escoge donde ir. Are you going to be a camarón dormido or a camarón despierto? Let us know in the comments. At <laughs> yeah, drop down a comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. I think of that lazy river. But for you, you don't think of that. That's weird. Because for me, I thought of like a lazy river just like entusar la vida and your little floaty just like floating down there. And it's a slow current. Because he's asleep, right? You're thinking about Because like it's the, like relaxing. Like... Yeah, I think of him asleep. He's relaxing. <laughs> 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 I ask myself the same thing when I sleep next to you. <laughs> what? What are you talking Por que about? Pedos? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not asleep when I fart. So yeah, for me, I picture it like a relaxed little shrimp going with the flow. But for you, I guess it's like a whole shebang in the ocean, which is interesting. Yeah, because a current. Your perspective. I think of a very la corriente is aggressive. That's true, but so is a lazy river. Have you tried to walk? There's a small little current yeah oh. yeah but es que cuando pienso que like te lleva la corriente it's like i think of whenever el, el río está crecido y, y se está llevando like se fue se fue agarró su barca <laughs> le si llamó no libertad uh-huh. <laughs> like it took you away so, kind of like titanic when they go underwater and they're holding hands pero la corriente literally makes him lose their grip mm-hmm. and he's like ah, como ah. <laughs> jack <laughs> yeah that's what you picture i think of that that is intense a current that just takes you away you have no control it happens so fast too in a way the way my anxiety is set up i uh-huh. just feel like my choices have always been as calculated as i can make them so in other words you've never really been i've never been in a situation where i feel like i have lost control of my decisions uh-huh. and where i wanted to so be So you're always awake then aware i wouldn't even say i don't even know it's like my whole life i'm in the do current high, do high <laughs> still the current. Yeah. so do people with anxiety are not letting go with the flow idea probably it's hard to go with the flow and anxiety people know, high anxiety people i don't know if it's the anxiety or if it's just like fear. also being a perfectionist are you a perfectionist probably why because i just want to be the best that i can but i mean not to say that i'm a perfect person because that's uh far from it but what i'm saying is that if i'm gonna do something i want it done well Mm -hmm. and if it doesn't go well i freak out kind of like the examples that they have my parents when they would do my hair for school Mm -hmm. like i needed it to be symmetrical and sleek and presentable every time if it wasn't that way i would just be so stressed and i needed it to be done the right way 
Mm-hmm. So like that was me making that decision that I'm not going to just go with the flow and go with my trencitas chuecas because I'm not going to be happy with myself the whole day. Because you were thinking of someone being like, Ira, las trenzas tan chuecas. Maybe, maybe. But I just wanted to be as perfect, perfect as it could be. Perfect, a hairstyle. Perfect. As perfect as a hairstyle can get. Give me that. <laughs> right. I well, don't know. Were they perfect to I your guess. standards? I don't remember much, but... I just wanted the top, the best of the best. Yeah. Okay. When it came to like almost anything. But every day? Every day you had to go with your pelo todo bien peinado? When it, cuando me peinaban. Symmetrical too. Cuando oh, me peinaban. Gosh. Yeah. O sea, like I reached the point where ya no me peinaban. So yo me peinaba y ya no era. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just trying to think of an example in which I have felt like I didn't have that control in my life. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's kind of crazy that I don't have, man, it, it would, if anything, it would be just like a really small example. It's not very big and impactful. Dating you? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Have I been the only person that swept you out, out of your... Out of my flow? Your flow. And because then... Alejandro, like, okay, this is me thinking that. My uh-huh. life, I had it very calculated like my moves i made those moves because i really felt like that's this is something that i needed to do to make me happy here's the thing like i've had i have been rejected from things that i have wanted but i don't see that as a lost opportunity it just wasn't meant to be like was there ever a moment where like you had a chance to give me a kiss and then you didn't (laughs) (laughs) stop (laughs) no no Ah, damn it. Uh, that you felt like damn it, i should have kissed him if i never ended up saying yes to you in gala that would have been a, such a bad lost opportunity i feel like that would have been a terrible yeah. opportunity lost because and you took it then Duh. you're just asking if i took it <laughs> did you take it did i take did you, it did you take the opportunity alondra did you say yes to him I actually did. Because, okay, I mean, okay, lost opportunity. Camarón que se duerme se lo lleva la corriente. I wouldn't say I lost the opportunity, but there were opportunities knocking. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, thank you. I was like, I'm not that interested, so I'm not going to take that. And that's why I'm saying that I never really went with the flow that I was not happy with going with. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, this boy says he likes me. I'm just going to date him. Because I know a lot of girls who do that. Mm-hmm. It's a thing. They feel bad for them, so they go out with them. It's very really? sad. Yes. I could have been. It's very much true. You could have been one of those guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe I was a lot of those moments. Aww. I was that guy. Pues in a lot no of vieron, Alejandro. <laughs> Creo que sí. I'm just kidding. No, no, vieron, no. But like, that was like your part time job. Muchas querían conmigo y pues, and you would go más, with the flow. Yo nada más decía, eh. Okay. Sí yeah. no. That's ex- oh, there you go. There you go. Shit. Yeah. Was that a slut? <laughs> <laughs> was I a slut? You was were. that a easy meat? <gasps> goodness i didn't know my worth yeah exactly and so for me here's something that i would say to myself just because a boy says pretty words to you doesn't mean he you know means it Mm. for me i was like um i don't like you that much so it's not gonna nothing's gonna happen was it looks were you looking for looks i don't even know it was just something that i was just so not interested in a guy enough to even give him a chance i just never i just never got that from them which is why whenever you came along it was a calculated move from my end as well i was like, like okay okay you know what let me see what this guy who he is and let me get to know him and i did so you did like your research on me well i i didn't have you as a friend on anything so i I, not like that oh, not, not I didn't a stalker stalk you on but Facebook. like when i was interacting with other people you were like oh he, i was like what is my husband doing no what you mean i was <laughs> no, <I'm> just <laughs> no you were just like oh, okay he's not the other girls are not creeped out by him type of thing because imagine i don't even know i just well you know you know like i said that's my okay. husband yeah no i re- like for real i never gave another f- fool <laughs> hey i'll take it you need to be a fool to be able to walk up to someone you like yeah, i never like, gave it any- <laughs> i was like me? he wasn't even talking to me i just i poked myself I into the conversation I was just like, that's want- something that we joke about yeah but- i may or may have not just said it directly to her i just said it in general like, and i was like oh me <laughs> a ver quien se apuntaba y el londres Stop. like <laughs> no you asked me specifically yeah. and i asked you are you talking to me and i was like yes yeah, yeah. and i was like no se, no se la creía. yeah i was like are you for real no dude because i was always just like who would ask me 
well, let me tell you guys, before Alejandro, I was picture that girl from was it Parks and Recreation, Aubrey? Aubrey? Picture her with a mix of Wednesday Adams. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. I was very much shielded like caparazones de i'm not gonna say that wasn't friendly but i wasn't mean i was not mean no you you were sociable and you were you had your personality you were cute yeah you were an attractive i i mean i saw it i mean people wanted to talk to you and stuff immediately i would see them be like i would be like fools <laughs> they don't know it, i gave everybody a hard time i really did yeah. and then there comes this guy that was like how you doing <laughs> How you doing? Uh, <laughs> and then she's like, ugh. So our first time ever meeting, our first interaction was at my sister's party at a restaurant. At the time, like I said, I was giving very much Wednesday Adams, unfriendly and very cold. When it came to strangers or guys that I didn't know, I just wouldn't really give them the time of day. And we were at this party where I didn't know half the people. So I was like, I'm just going to be on my own. Alejandro comes up, new character introduced, and I've never seen him. I don't know of him. And he comes to sit next to me. <laughs> he comes to sit next to me. Imagine, okay, you're at a night club restaurant. Yeah, those restaurants that they do parties at after, night, uh -huh. after hours. Yeah. And so you see a girl, but she's on her phone by herself. <laughs> yeah. That was me. And so Alejandro comes and approaches me and I'm just like, oh my God. And I'm like... <laughs> And I was like, oh, hell no, bro. And he comes to talk to me. And the whole time, I'm barely giving him the time of day. And I'm just going, I'm answering him his questions, but I'm still scrolling on Facebook. I'm not doing anything on Facebook at this time anymore. I'm literally just scrolling through. Mm -hmm. I'm not even looking at you. Oh, Alejandro, pobrecito. You got to understand the... You were just my, trying to My have perspective fun. was like, ah... Uh, there's this girl in her phone. She's not really being included by everybody else. Everybody else is having fun. Yeah. And you knew them, right? I did know but, them. But That's were... the thing. Like, I actively just chose to just be on my own. So <laughs> in that moment, I, I knew that I was pretty good at like opening crowds or, or involving people into conversation. And okay, and no. I hated that. <laughs> I hate when people... Because I, I was shy growing up in school. Like if I didn't know anybody, I would keep to myself. Yeah. in a classroom digamos so i hated when people actively did that and they felt bad for me and they would try to involve me with the popular kids or whoever was in the mm -hmm. in the class i hated that and i would reject it i didn't i don't want anybody's pity i was okay with myself just being on my sketchbook just being on my own in the classroom so when you did that i already know i was like oh my god <laughs> and it wasn't like i sat just with her yeah Alondra. it was a whole long table it was with people. people there was other people there and so i sat there and i yeah alondra was very closed up and that's what extremely i noticed extremely close since up. the gecko type <laughs> of thing it alondra was just very shielded and uh from my experience i was just like oh, okay so let me try this this usually works what did you try talking <laughs> interacting <laughs> involving and like girls usually like oh, okay they so this, open up a this person more. is it's not just someone just trying to have small being talk weird uh-huh yeah within the social interaction is where you can see someone's personality right and i was just trying to see like what is alondra about and what right? did i give you and you gave me just nothing. the one i mean <laughs> no but even that you, you're not giving nothing just gave me a lot of information nothing like okay so yeah i'm gonna have to meet this girl some other time to like get to know a little bit more because obviously i'm the new character in her life she has not know me but hey it's okay it's you just, just like, wanted to wife me up that's it <laughs> no, <laughs> no not yet no, no not, not but in those i will times. say because of that interaction because of that little conversation that you had with me and you kept pushing because usually if people would come up to me like for a guy for example if they did yeah. they would get the memo so easily that i wasn't interested and they would just small talk and move on like oh sad like uh -huh. go back to the main group your ass <laughs> stayed there and kept talking and talking and talking oh, gosh. and talking not just about himself he was actually asking me these questions and i was like oh okay like you are actually not a weird person you made me feel comfortable and that's the first thing that kind of like made me even consider anything like 
because I, even a friendship with you i think because you i would ask you questions you would say something and then i was asked about what you said yeah and then like if you said something about like oh i go to art school oh art school and yeah i, was I just like so what what, do you, what you type talk, of art we talked about like the gym you told me that uh-huh. you played soccer right and you asked me if i played soccer and i was like no <laughs> okay so i didn't go like into soccer so i was like okay, okay yeah but what do you do I, th- I thought it was sweet well it worked it look worked. at you now <laughs> I got you here in my <laughs> oh shit where my yeah. anyways yeah so th- I feel like that was an opportunity of a friendship mm-hmm. at first and that's so- how it started and it had to be both of us not being camarones dormidos because the opportunity was there I also had to be all of, I I didn't know that you liked me Alondra <laughs> Alondra could have been just the girl I saw once at that one yeah party here's the thing alejandro was nowhere near town he didn't live anywhere near he didn't have any of friends there any connections that was the new town for me zero he only arrived there because he had a phone call once (laughs) did we talk about that already i think so yeah we did in our previous episodes i think episode one or two if not we'll talk about this some other time but the point is that he was not associated really with anything in that world but why did you end up going back that's the thing i got no, oh, because I saw Just opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna be a camarón que se duerme. I'm gonna go see where this goes. Type yeah, of thing. That, and look at us. Right, like, like I chose to go. It wasn't like it wasn't going with the flow. It was okay. I'm gonna go here because me invitaron, mm-hmm. and the from the people I met, there was a whole new world of opportunities. There was like, okay, am I gonna go back? Like, because I at one point I made that question. It's like, am I gonna go back to see all those people? Mm-hmm. Because there were so many, actually. It was, it was a, a whole group. Uh huh. And I was like, yeah, I'll go back. Oh, okay. And then Daisy what sent me all the details, and she's like, yeah, show up. And I know people are going to enjoy your presence too. I sure did. <laughs> oh shit! I love that light up that Wednesday when she saw me, and she's like, "Oh, he's here." Oh, I mean, like I said, like because of that conversation. Sonia's is conmigo. No, no. <laughs> la verdad que no. <laughs> nah. Okay. Um, I was interested because you made me feel comfortable with you. When I saw you that next Wednesday at that group, I was pleasantly surprised because I was like, I know him. Right. And he made me feel good. It wasn't creepy. It wasn't weird. It wasn't annoying. I just felt like, oh, like a friend. My husband. <laughs> <laughs> From my perspective, what I did that night was... Point- no. Todavía, ni, todavía no, no sabía de... O sea, no, no tenía nada así como no sabía bien tu nombre. But I did have this thing where I was like, oh, what does that girl look like? I'm trying to remember because you remember your face. Me. Yeah, I knew, I knew I had a good time with you and I knew that there was this cute girl that I talked with and that, or tried to talk with, but like <laughs> introduced. Talk to himself. No, 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 tra- <laughs> no, no trabajo mucho. But either way, at the end of the day, I was just like, yeah, whatever. It's okay. Yeah. And, but then I was trying to remember. I was like, yeah, I mean, but she was cute and I had a, that little interaction with her. But how did she look like? like? I still didn't have that like in my mind, right? Yeah. And that lingered in like until like I saw you again. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I would go back to my life or whatever. And, and you stuck me on and Instagram. And then I would still be like, <laughs> no, I still didn't know anything. Yeah, and still we be were like, I still only don't friends have, in person. Yeah, but then I still my mind had not met you enough times to have like a very mm-hmm. clear image of what you look like. So I was like, okay, I need to go back to uh, go see. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> Well, yeah because i was like okay uh there's something there but like i, I guess i was like okay let's go back so i can like get that again i remember that one time i was like um, you added all the girls on snapchat no oh. <laughs> i pulled out my phone because someone's like oh do you have snapchat i'm like oh yeah yeah mm-hmm. and so i pull out my phone and i'm like okay here and then like a flock of other girl uh, people the whole crew uh-huh, were like hey i want to ask you i'll ask you and i'm like i'm there i'm there for like you're like okay, three yeah. minutes uh-huh. back when snapchat was you, popping you didn't show up uh, did you i didn't you didn't right? i didn't i yeah. remember that yeah i was just like huh, i wonder why she didn't come up <laughs> i wasn't trying to but i guess in a way it was like okay so i just wasn't that kind of girl like imagine wednesday adams adding some guy on on snapchat like yeah. she wouldn't mm-hmm. <laughs> 
that's just how it is so in a a, a way yeah for me it was like okay yeah i see more of her personality and it's not gonna be that easy with her so so sorry for you whenever i did get your name and your uh instagram we were like okay let's exchange social medias no i we got instagram when we were dating i added you when we were already dating that was way later really (laughs) really and facebook then it was just a number the we, number because, because whenever you i asked, asked you me out to gala that's the only and I way you got to contact my you yeah like here's the thing i had never dated anybody so i had none of that had registered in my head uh-huh. i didn't think about adding you on facebook i didn't think about adding you on instagram i didn't think about getting your number so so when did you start stalking me after we had already been dating after or after we went to gala after we had already been dating no I did, no alejandro i didn't have nunca se me pasó por la mente hacer eso oh okay. nunca se me pasó por la mente to stalk you point is you had access you knew how to find me i would look at that one picture which on by Instagram. the way is this picture guys oh it was the picture i was like that's her face okay even though it was like half it was of the it, lamest know. picture of all things <laughs> Cuando se me olvidaba, así como, like, ¿Cómo se mira? ¿Cómo se mira? Oh, okay oh yeah. <laughs> of all pictures she would take pictures with, with the, the filters fil- the snapchat filters and i would be like nah and then she took one it. without a filter and i was like you ate that shit Ooh. i ate that photo up i was like before <laughs> sleep okay oh gotta take a glance okay why didn't you tell me you liked me? That's a thing. I never knew that you actually liked me until you asked me out like that. Well, it wasn't that long either way. What? Till gala? Because when I met you, it was what, like two months? You want me it to was tell two you? two months. Exactly. <laughs> so that was perfect timing. I didn't know you liked me when you asked me to gala either. No, okay. I'm not going to tell you hey i like you no i'm gonna ask you to You're go to gala me with me with bachata and then we're gonna go like uh-huh <laughs> because I, won't, I really do think that if you go in too quickly like that i would have been so scared exactly i would have been like hell no, no it's, i'm it's coming mom easy it's it's from my perspective to you is i was gauging how you were receiving everything Bro. and then from there i would have to calibrate or I, I would have to adjust things but to know that i had to go through trial and error type of thing like i wasn't that good right off the bat he, si la regó unas cuantas veces <laughs> Oh, see? I broke up with you before we were dating. Oh, yeah. You remember? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we're going too deep into this. Yeah. Nada que ver con el dicho. So, la oportunidad estaba de conocernos. We took it and... There you go. We didn't snooze. We wouldn't yeah. have been here... Seven years dating, eight months married, three weeks pregnant. I'm just kidding. No <laughs> manches. Don't joke That's around covered. like that. I'm just kidding. No, guys. Watch I'm waiting out. for my twins in like next year. ¿Tú quieres matar dos pájaros con una piedra en Londres? Uh, no. I'm trying to get on my sister's level. No. Everybody our age has three plus kids. It's okay. Not okay. a competition. I don't see it as a it's competition. It's not, but I'm just going to be like, you know what? Like you said, matar un para un parajo. Paraguas. <laughs> Paraguas. <laughs> Con... Yeah. yeah. Anyways. Okay, este dicho, guys, let us know in the comment section if you have any insight into this dicho. Yes. What it means to you. We only know so much about this dichos. And we can yeah. know... We can express it so much with our personal lives. And that's why we need y'all to help us out a little bit with giving us a little bit more about your perspective and your life experience and how you've used this dicho time to go deep what are we not seeing in this dicho what are we overlooking alejandro get your thinking Camarón hats on que se duerme se, se lo lleva, lleva la, la corriente. corriente you know what i used to think too about this dicho que se iba a dormir a una cama el camarón camarón que se duerme because i heard it when i was younger too it's, yeah it's un dicho que like i've heard it camarón que se duerme and i will always like visualize the camarón going to sleep at his cama but it was until later that i realized no they could just like sleep in the water or whatever they're at the bottom of the ocean or just they... the sea floor it doesn't matter what so they're on the... salt water yeah they have to be i guess so porque son mariscos mar mariscos is that why it's called mariscos, mariscos? Sí, i think so i don't i really don't know yeah porque si no fueran lagunaiscos exactly yeah, no son no es ir a yeah. comer en la, lagunaiscos yeah lagunaiscos <laughs> let's see what are we not seeing about this dicho well you say this to somebody when they're missing opportunities when they are not taking control of their life or when they are realizing that they have come to a place where they 
are not happy. It's an advice, Dicho. It's something you you give so that they can wake up. Wake up to the reality. Wake up to reality. Wake up. Put a little bit of makeup. You want, you want to. to. <laughs> I don't think you trust in my self-righteous suicide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which by the way, oh my God. Um, little Uzi guy just came out with a cover of the... Song. song oh yeah and i do not approve it's yucky it's i don't <laughs> like it it's yucky it's okay i haven't heard you would about think it. some artists would come up with a remake but in and be a little bit better but like no nah, not nah, like the original is still 100 better but i'm a millennial maybe gen c's are like yeah this They're one's like, way yeah. better yeah look at the on. tech music i don't know i don't know which one it is i know this is i love you and this is spider-man like, <laughs> spider-man <laughs> yeah <laughs> girl what, what you're hurting yourself so oh, yeah man. uh let's come back yeah it's what about waking it's to wake up wake up to your reality to your reality are you happy in your reality are you content where you are right now in your life exactly if not what are you gonna do about it uh, we did that last month last week <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think so a lot of these messages come back to like the what idea. are you gonna do about it uh-huh porque si no te va a llevar la corriente if you're not gonna change your situation stop complaining and if you can change it do something about it we all can do something about it not to the same degree but we can at least do something about it right it's like for those people who cannot run walk if who you can't those? walk crawl Or if you can't crawl, <laughs> you can figure it out. Stop eating maruchas. Stop eating. Yeah. Stop eating a shrimp and a marucha, Alejandro. Uh-huh. I mean, I haven't, I haven't had maruchas in a long time. I have the real noodles now. By the way, it's more better for you and more delicious. More delicious. Delicious. Is that a word? Deliciouser is not a word. No. Okay. It is more scrum deliumptious scrum deliumptious <laughs> you know oh. when i think about that word it's like uh drake's the type of person who say that's <laughs> scrum deliumptious drake drake is the type to say scrum deliumptious yeah he yeah. is people are haters oh my goodness that's so funny a potato flew around my room the other that's day. frank ocean oh let me think of a drake song i know a lot alejandro wasn't a drake fan he missed that wave well, what's that one that kind of starts like that one but like i've been thinking about you yeah 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 that's also not drake who the f- is that then that's frank ocean that's really? the same song <laughs> <laughs> no then, then then which one's um a potato that's a vine <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah a potato you hear the edm version okay i'm trying to think of a drake song which could be over no no say best i ever had i think about the lyrics okay give me a lyric uh <laughs> give me a lyric <laughs> give me a lyric. ski 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 <laughs> water gun. that was the time that i was into duranguenses <laughs> yeah ya no estaba duranguense en ese tiempo it was 2010 2008 The reason why we brought up Drake was dumb either way. Yeah, it was. Sorry, Drake. Uh, okay. I still love you. El dicho. <laughs> Alondrita. Yes, el dicho. This But, is what happens when we don't prepare. We didn't prepare you guys, yeah, so I'm guys, so sad. We, we, we sorry for that. We're not going to yeah. do that again. No. Mm-hmm. Ya que, ya que okay. Well, that was it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you like this episode and make sure to subscribe so you can continue gaining more in-depth explanation and more diving deep into the details we grew up hearing from our parents and grandparents i am alejandro luviano i am alondra luviano and this is que dicho, que dicho. bye Thank guys you and goodbye love you i'm hungry let's, let's go, go eat some carne asada it's Damn. okay it's, it's the fourth of july yeah it's a cheat meal <laughs>